There are so many things that I want to say, starting with the explicit theme on conscientious objection, which I only became aware of today. I want to invite all of you to educate yourself on the current developments in military doctrine about the conditions under which orders may be refused, indeed are required to be refused. But then the further step, which and this doctrine is developing with regard to officers, under what circumstances is it ethical to resign one's commission? And I want you to read this material with the question in your mind, are service members, particularly officers, slaves of the state? Are officers slaves of the state? And let that question settle in the pit of your stomach and curdle there. Chaplain Kaiser will confirm that the three Ps are the priestly, the pastoral, and the prophetic. And what has me listen to every one of the existing recorded sermons of Martin Luther King Jr. every year is that amazing prophetic voice. And we need to find some way to make it unmistakably clear to our executive branch, to our legislators, that we never want our military leaders to lose moral agency. Never. 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 Of course, that in profound ways is true of every service member, including the enlisted ranks, but particularly the officer ranks. Now, I'm also grateful to everyone for enriching my vocabulary with regard to moral injury. This is a second bookmark. I have been working for years on a very specific uh, definition of moral injury that people in clinical work with combat veterans say that they find helpful, but I realize now that it is deficient. It may have merit within its particular scope, but I have really not fully appreciated other dimensions. The definition that I have been working from and crafting, refining, polishing, all of that has to do with how power is used. Is it used in accordance with what's right or does this use of power betray what's right? So the something that I am quite confident is correct and true. It's just too narrow to encompass all of the concerns here. That when three things are present, moral injury is present. When there is, number one, a betrayal of what's right, and that this betrayal of what's right is by someone who holds legitimate authority to three, in a high-stakes situation. And the stakes never get bigger and higher than they are in war. Sorry, this isn't rocket science. We know this stuff. We know this stuff. And I 
feel confident that there is some utility in that, and it's going to take me weeks or months or years to digest the missing continent that I've glimpsed on today on this map, but I am gratified that this concept of moral injury is working its way into the bloodstream uh, within military forces. Uh, having said that, I want to introduce another one of my little hobby horses, which is to remind everyone that we're just one critter. Of course, what we're doing at this moment, what I'm doing, what you're doing, is physiological. We are physical bodies. It remains an unexplained mystery why God created us as physical entities. It was within his capacity to create us as angels. Okay, but he didn't. We're physical, and we are at every instant brain, physical brain, mind, social beings, and inhabitants, users, bearers, fulfillers of a culture. None of these has ontological priority of being the really, 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 really real one. This big, expensive physical brain isn't the really, really, really one, and all the rest just platonic shadows on the wall or shining bubbles on the stream. They are, in my view, each other's environments with obligatory exchanges with each other that in the absence of the required exchanges between brain and mind, between mind and social system, between mind and culture, and so on, that it all begins to shift and change and fall apart. I'm deeply grateful that you invited me, and I look forward to hanging out, to filling, fulfilling Woody Allen's law, showing up as 90%. I will be here till the end of the conference and hope to contribute as much as I possibly can. <laughs>